Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking to you about the recent situation of rapper slash singer Lizzo. Now, I've never talked about her on my channel before, but if you've been living under a rock, I'm going to tell you briefly what those accusations are for those who for some reason don't know. Last year, she was accused of not only being a really terrible boss, but also sexual harassment on all of her dancers and even some of her staff and letting some of her staff uh, act very abusively towards the other dancers. So yeah, that's basically a brief reason why I really cannot stand this woman now. I mean, I had, you know, when I first heard about Lizzo back in, I don't know, 2019 or so, I thought she was fine. You know, I thought for a singer rapper at the time, you know, I thought she was going to be a way better influence than, I don't know, Cardi B or Nicki Minaj, but nope. Turns out she's just as terrible as those women. That's not the only reason I wanted to talk about the situation. I wanted to also talk about this of basically the first response that she said before recently, not too long ago this year. Before we get to the entire story of all this, I just want to say that, you know, it sounds like a good deal at first when she said, she quote unquote quits but later on to, into the video you'll understand why I'm still pretty mad. I, I'm gonna actually read up to an article from the news source KTLA I'm gonna leave that article down in the description below if you don't want to hear my commentary on it. It's not very long but I just wanted to uh, read off to what I read here I quit says Lizzo admin ongoing backlash Rapper and singer Lizzo talked to social media to announce I quit one day after headlining a Democratic National Committee fundraiser Thursday night at Radio City Music Hall in New York City. I'm getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the internet. The good as hell singer wrote on Instagram, All I want is to make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better than how I found it. But I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. The artist went on to say she is constantly up against lies being spread about her for clout and views. Being the butt of the joke every single time because of how I look, my character being picked apart by people who don't know me and disrespecting my name. I didn't sign up for this shit, she wrote. I quit. Lizzo is facing accusations of sexual harassment and discrimination from several of her former backup dancers who said she created a hostile work environment through a wide range of legal wrongdoing including not just sexual harassment, but also religious and radical discrimination, according to Billboard. The women allege Lizzo forced them to attend sex shows and eat a banana, protruding from a woman's vagina, among other allegations. Last month, a judge denied Lizzo's request to toss the lawsuit, allowing the majority of the case to proceed to trial later this year. Oh, boy. Oh, so you're being tired of the butt of jokes. Okay, Lizzo, um, that last part that I read there, then why are these accusations being said about you? It's not like they're just said half hazardly towards from these dancers you hired before. Now, granted, yes, there are false accusations before. I made a video about this two years ago on Brendan Geary, so false accusations do exist, but this is not one of them. I I mean, the details, I mean, especially with the last one, a banana coming out of vagina, I, I can't, I can't, that one really, I mean, honestly, bleh. but, I mean, granted, that is some really kinky shit, but all of that was non-consensual, too. We need to remember that as well. At first, when I heard about this response, I thought, oh, awesome, she's gonna finally quit. But then I remember on my autistic brain, oh, wait a minute, there's probably more gonna be said about this, huh? And before all of that, I posted on Twitter here, basically saying on my response here, saying, send by a woman. 
woman who glorifies obesity, abuser staff and dancers, and plays the victim card when she doesn't get what she wants. Instead of quitting, you should have been canceled a long time ago. Now, granted, listen, I'm not into cancel culture, and I think I've said this before in previous videos before, but this is one of the few times where I say, yeah, cancel Lizzo, and I'm on board with that one, and that's pretty much what I said there, and you know what? I still stick by that to this day, even though she's not quote-unquote quitting, but we'll get into that. What she meant by she was going to quit was by this terrible, terrible video she uploaded. We're gonna watch it. I recently just found this video out from the Twitter user Clown World, and I'm gonna just, you watch and you see what you guys think. I want to make this video because I just need to clarify. When I say I quit, I mean I quit giving any negative energy attention. What I'm not gonna quit is the joy of my life, which is making music, which is connecting to people. Because I know I'm not alone. In no way, shape, or form am I the only person who is experiencing that negative voice that seems to be louder than the positive. If I can just give one person the inspiration or motivation to stand up for themselves and say they quit letting negative people win, negative comments win, then I've done even more than I could have hoped for. With that being said, I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm gonna keep being me. Once again, I just wanna say thank you. The love that I've received, whew, means more than you know. I don't even know where the hell to even start with. First of all, you're tired of the negative attention, Lizzo. Really, because that mindset can only work so well over time that when reality finally does stick to you forever or that the long run, it's hard to be positive all the time. Second of all, when you are accused of all the things that we mentioned earlier, it is hard to stay positive into all of this. Now, I understand that people handle, like, accusations differently when they're being accused of something terrible. When it comes to something as sexual assault, a horrible work environment, and treating all of your dancers like shit, there is nothing to stay positive after the backlash. I don't know about you guys, but if I was accused of something even close to that just a little bit, I think I'd be freaking the fuck out and be hiring a lawyer, which... Sure, there was a case that was dismissed and that the judge denied Lizzo's claim from earlier that these were false accusations with the later court date this year to be rumored, but I don't know if Lizzo's ego is so... I don't know if Lizzo's ego is so fat and big that she thinks that staying positive and just thinking about herself and in such a positive manner is the only way she she can get into life. She, and I honestly said this on my other reply on Twitter here, saying on Clown World's post by saying, Lizzo should really look at herself in the mirror to see if she still wants to be herself after all the backlash and accusations against her. She isn't just a diva, she's a bitter and abusive narcissist. I'm not really anyone to diagnose anybody with anything. I'm not a professional, but just by her mannerisms and how she acts towards everything else, that's what I believe. And believe it or not, this isn't even the first time Lizzo has responded after the accusations. In fact, she responded last year with all of this. So she posted on Instagram saying, These last few days have been gut-wrenchingly difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing. My work ethic, morals, and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized. Usually, I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous to not be addressed. 
These sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. As an artist, I've always been passionate about what I do. I take my music and my performances seriously because at the end of the day, I only want to put out the best art that represents me and my fans. With passion comes hard work and high standards. Sometimes I have to make hard decisions, but it's never my intention to make anyone feel uncomfortable or like they aren't valued as an important part of the team. I'm not here to be looked at as a victim, but I also know that I'm not the villain that people in the media have portrayed me to be these last few days. I'm very open with my sexuality and expressing myself, but I cannot accept or allow people to use that openness to make me out to be something I'm not. There's nothing I take more seriously than the respect we deserve as women in the world. I know what it feels like to be body shamed on a daily basis and would absolutely never criticize or terminate an employee because of their weight. I'm hurt, but I will not let the good work I've done in the world be overshadowed by this. I want to thank everyone who has reached out in support to lift me up during this difficult time. Girl, bye. Bye. Get out. Get out. Get out. I don't normally show this, but I'm going to show a clip of another YouTuber who actually says this best how I felt as well, besides not just Lizzo, but other public figures who are too uberly positive at first. I think this guy said it best here. Damn. Chat, this is what I'm talking about. I, I, I say this a lot. I always feel like the uber positive oh so happy always kind people are never to be trusted they always end up being some weird ass narcissistic terrible fucking person i am gonna leave those two videos i just showed you down in the description below by two of my favorite creators ready to glare and bionic pig so if you guys want to go see that videos i left them down below and also up at the annotation of these screenshots, EC. But what do you all think? I legitimately think that Lizzo is such has such a huge ego over time that if anything is said bad about her or what she does, she just brushes off under the rug, just like most a lot of these really bad public figures or celebrities basically i just hope for the case to go further and hopefully that the ex dancers will get some sort of not only compensation from court but also lots of therapy because i'm sure does definitely need it after what they've been through i wish those ex dancers good luck on that but what do you all think if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like the rest of my content and want to see all my other videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on all notifications on, on the notifications bell. If you guys want to check out all my other social media and my art shops down below, I have a link tree. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all take care.